when dog owners go too far. What is this? What is this? Are you happy, Pepper? No, I'm not. That's what she's saying. Hello. Come here. Picked up the Christmas tree, now chilling with my pal Pepper. No, not interested. In it. Sleeping. Right, I'll just play FIFA. So it's Tuesday morning, uh, we're going to train back now, I've been at half six, I've been until nine today, very long day, uh, for one reason or another, different clients want me, but I've got nine people today. It's a lot of concentrating, so I'm making sure I've got everything planned, and I'm not just there at the start of a session, like, what do I do next? Because uh, that's unfair on the clients. Uh, but yes, just sipping on a zero calorie monster drink, um, probably I'd say maybe at least six or seven of the BTC are all big fans of this current one, it tastes like lemonade. No calories, no sugar. Okay, you could argue there are the artificial sweeteners in there, uh, which people are not fans of, but I would say being overweight is probably worse for your health than having high sugar drinks that don't have artificial sweeteners. But that's a big debate. Anyway, I'm gonna train. I'm gonna train back, but I'm gonna record maybe one exercise, uh, probably a bent over row, and just show you uh, little tips on how to do it, because it's an exercise I see done wrong a lot in classes. So anything to help, good fun. So I recorded some bent over rows uh, just to help with a bit of technique, uh, an exercise I see done wrong quite often. Uh, it's funny that I did record this because I noticed something that I'm doing wrong myself. So you, you see here you want to tip from your hips and keep your back pretty straight, don't let them round. However, what I'm doing here is looking up. What I should be doing is looking along the same line as my spine as to not put any tension there. Once you've done that, of course, then start rowing. Control it down, not all the way locked out because I can bring your shoulders forwards and then bring it back, keeping your arms nice and close, really squeezing your shoulder blades. Into the gym for today, uh, for this week's featured client, uh, Gitto. He is a great example of someone who manages to train even though they have a pretty hectic slash busy lifestyle. Yeah, busy with two jobs. Uh, he does stuff with television and also with radio. Still manages to train and as you'll see, uh, very effectively made lots of gains and also able to do quite a lot of things. Really good workout from Gitto. Um, lots of big compound movements. His strength and fitness has improved dramatically from when we first started. Uh, he used to really struggle, but his uh, mental determination and strength has definitely improved. And as you can see from this workout, he goes through, uh, gets through everything pretty well, pretty good technique, and also with quite a lot of weight. Um, yeah, he's made great results from all the training. Can't fault him. Self gains kit, uh, some Greek yogurt, some honey, thing for the raisins, a spoon, you need to eat it, some iced skinny coffee. Yeah. So, the main theme of this video is basically making time. So, um, January's coming, and the most common things I'm going to hear is, Oh, you know, how do you do it? I haven't got the time to do it. Um, but that's like, that's silly. It's not. It's not an excuse. You can you can make time. Half an hour is not a very long time of your day. It's something like an hour is four percent of your day. Something ridiculous like that. 
Um, but it's the nutrition really that is the big part of it. I'd say it's 90% what you eat, 10% what you do in the gym. If you eat well and don't really do any exercise, you just maybe walk around in the day, you'll probably still lose weight if you're in a caloric deficit. Whereas if you eat terribly and you train every day, you might not lose weight, which is something people don't want to hear, but it is a true fact. Um, so my favorite one that I'm hearing, I'm going to add a favorite thing of January. My favorite thing I'm going to hear in January, which I've heard last January, and I don't just hear in January, I hear it all the time, is I just want to lose weight on my stomach. Um, if you put that into context, if I turn around and said to you, uh, I just want to lose weight on my left bicep, you'd look at me like you're crazy. You can't lose weight like that. It's the same thing. You can't spot reduce. You can't pick one area of your body and just lose weight there. If you're going to lose weight, you're going to lose it from your entire body, okay? Um, so when you see people come in, they're going to run for 20 minutes and do 400 sit-ups. I'm not saying you're wasting your time because you're obviously still burning calories, but there's definitely more efficient ways and more effective ways to train. But the key is being consistent. I've said this before with nutrition and also with your training and you will see results. Uh, I'm just going to put a uh, screenshot of a text I received from a client this week. Now. As you can see, Fionn's really happy. Uh, she's been able to get the lowest weight she's been for a while, just being consistent with her diet, and she's seen the results. Uh, she's currently following the 5-2 diet, which um, is something I would have never tried myself because it's not specific for me. I'm, I said I'm an, as I'm, I train quite regularly, I burn lots of calories, but not everyone wants to be a personal trainer. Everyone just wants to look as good as they can look uh, in the way which is most effective and easy for them. She's followed that nutrition well, and she's got the results she wanted, so can't fault it. There's more than one way to skin a cat, so there's never one, just one way to lose weight. Kane is in the building.